Huawei has been making consistently great phones for a number of years now, it has struggled to establish itself as a household name in Western markets, and its latest flagship, the Huawei Re10, offers a glimpse as to why that's the case. The Huawei Re10 is a culmination of everything the company has been doing right, with a few minor tweaks from the P9 to make sure it keeps up with the big guns such as Apple and Samsung. The fingerprint scanner on the Huawei Re10 is a big highlight of this phone. This is the first time Huawei has put a security has scanner been making on the front consistently of the phone great for a few for a number of years now. Design. It has struggled to establish the itself Re10 as a looks household like a name in Western success. markets. There's no escape from that. Flagship. It's the striking Huawei how similar the design of the P10 is to why that's the success. And I've sold that we've had many is a people mistake the device for a company iPhone. has been doing right. If you're a fan with of the iPhone design from the P9 to make OS. sure it keeps up with the big gun could such well as the great and buy Samsung. Samsung. The the fingerprint handle and some other Huawei Re10 device is a big fingerprint of this phone. On the front this changes is the, the way you hold the phone. I has put its security display on the front of the full for a few iterations. One inch display that's bright and colorful. Huawei has opted for a full HD display on the P10. Unlike competition from LG and Samsung that have QHD panels. And just a day after the P10 was announced, Sony showed off its brand new 4K panel phone, which offers a far better resolution than the P10. The panel itself offers 432 pixels per inch, which means everything you watch on here looks sharp, despite it not being a QHD panel. We also found the display to be super bright, which is great if you're often using your phone in strong sunlight. Performance Huawei has included its own high silicon Kirin 960 chipset inside the Huawei Re10, the same processor we saw in the Huawei Mate 9. Here it's paired with 4GB of RAM, and this combo will easily run all the latest tapes and games you'll want to be using. During our time with the phone we were never particularly disappointed with its performance, with everything loading quickly and no app crashes. Software The Huawei Re10 comes packing the latest software from Google, that's Android 7 Nougat, but Huawei has stuck its Emotion UI 5.1 software on top to give the OS a different look and offer up a variety of additional features. Emotion UI hasn't always been popular in the West. But some major changes have been made over the past few years which have made it look quite different, so it might be worth another look. Camera The Huawei P9 saw the debut of the Leica branded dual lens camera, and it's back for the P10. The setup here, however, is almost the same as that on the Huawei Mate 9, with the 12MP color sensor working in tandem with the 20MP Manichrome 1. The phone takes a photo using both sensors, then combines the two images, the idea being that the black and white sensor will enhance detail and contrast in the color image. Battery Huawei has upgraded the cell in the P10 to 3,200 mAh compared to the 3,000 mAh unit in the P9, but it seems that hasn't helped much. In the course of our video test comma where we play a 90 minute video clip from the phone's memory at full brightness, with connectivity options on, the Huawei Re10 lost 20% of its battery. And the last is verdict. If you're an Android fan who likes the look of recent iPhones, the Huawei Re10 may well be for you. The design of the iPhone is essentially mimicked here, and the P10's features stand up to most other flagship phones on the market right now. The camera on the P10 is good, but it's not as great as those on the iPhone 7 Plus or the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge.